Hello, my name is Phil Davey from Good Woodworking Magazine. Today we're going to take a look at a few security items which you can use for your workshop to hopefully make it a bit safer. One very simple security measure you can take if you've got a traditional timber shed like this which tend to have very uh, quite flimsy doors and fitted with uh, traditional T hinges which can be removed very easily if someone wanted to get into your workshop. Uh, that is to replace the T hinges with heavy duty security hinges which is what we have fitted here. Um, they would normally be fitted housed into the frame and the, and the door itself. Uh, this is a very quick job, just surface mounting, but they should be housed in. But the great thing about these, these have, the, on each leaf you've got a steel pin sticking out, so as you close the door, the steel pins engage in the opposite leaf in a, a hole that's drilled. So you fit those top and bottom, and that's going to make it life a lot more difficult to prise the door off, off its hinges. You can get these from Screwfix. And moving down, we've also got something called a hinge bolt, which very simple, just a, a steel plate screwed on the side of the door frame. Again, it should be housed in so it's nice and flush. A whole board in the center, and then a steel pin is inserted in the edge of the door. You might need to add a strip down the edge of the door to give it a bit of meat and strengthen it anyway. Um, that steel pin, when you close the door, simply engages in the, in the hole there and Again, another um, deterrence to prevent the door being wrenched off its hinges. Here we've got a, a nice heavy duty hasp and staple from Master Lock. I'll show you that, that open. Normally you'd have a, you wouldn't have double doors like this, you'd have a single, single door so they'd be fitted on the edge of the, uh, the, edge of the building. And, um, there are several different padlocks you can use. An ordinary heavy duty padlock is fine, but this device is quite clever. It's, called, it's a locking padlock, uh, obviously. Uh, if, you, if you take the shackle out and turn it around, which I'll demonstrate here, it actually becomes an active alarm. So that bleeping sound tells you that it's actually active. And if anyone then tampers with the alarm, you get a warning signal, and then the alarm goes off like that. So quite a good quite a good deterrent. Another locking alarm is this called an alarm it and you can use this for locking bicycles and all sorts. This uses actually combination lock and um, Again, you can insert it like that. Um, you can isolate, you don't have to have the, the uh, flashing lights quite like that. You can have it flashing intermittently, set the alarm by moving the, the dials, and then that's active. And then if anyone tries to cut the cable, um, you'll get a similar alarm going off. That's a, the alarm it from uh, Eliza Tinsley. A very simple security device is called the Shed Security Bar from Rivelin Glen Products. Basically you've got a, a bracket at each end. Uh, on a, a single shed door you'd have a third bracket in the middle as well. So you simply slide the steel bar in, which has a hole at each end. Padlock is supplied and that simply locks through there. And that's it, that's just a, a very simple sturdy deterrent and you can put blocks on the inside of the, the shed where you bolt it through the brackets to give it a bit of strength. So that's, and that, let's say on a single door you'd have a, a bracket in the centre as well so that gives it some, some, some beef. Um, and that's, that's the shortest bar length, it comes in three different sizes. So that's the security shed bar. Okay, this is a passive infrared device which 
most people will be familiar with. Any, anyone passing or anything passing in front of the sensor in the field of beam sets off the lights. But this one's a bit different because it's got a video camera built in and you've got an SD memory card provided which you slot in underneath and this can be set so that it will record anything moving in front of it in about 30 second bursts of movements plus a couple of still images and you can, you can, you've got a menu buttons on here and a little screen underneath which if it's tilted, tilted up you can actually get access to underneath but um, and then you can program that so at the end of the day or even in the morning after a night you can take your um, SD card out put it in your computer and then play back whatever images are on there just to see whether anyone has been prowling around your workshop.